Hello gorgeous! So today I'm doing a haul for you guys, but it, it is a drugstore haul. Um, I stopped at CVS tonight because I needed to get some allergy stuff because yesterday I got my allergy tested and I'm a mess. So um, when I go to CVS, that means I go makeup shopping. And I found some really great deals tonight that I wanted to share with you guys. First up is Maybelline. They had a special that when you spent $10, on any pro I think it was eye products, you got, what was it? I think it was $3 back in extra rewards. If you're not familiar with CVS or you're outside of the United States, I'm sorry because they have really, really awesome rewards deals and you end up getting so much more for your money. So I couldn't pass that up. I'm like, okay, how can I spend $10? And I have Back in the day, I used to use Falsies Mascara by Maybelline and I loved it. And I haven't used it in a really long time because I'm a, a total L'Oreal uh, voluminous fanatic. So when I saw this, it's a Volume Express and it's the Falsies Big Eyes. It's 360 False Lash Effect. And I got it in very black and so, and it's new. So I'm excited to try this one. I've not tried it. Looks like it's a double ended one. Um, Let's see, it's not waterproof. I do not like waterproof mascara, but it looks like it's the big wand on top and then the little wand on the bottom. So there's that. Um, I, I hope I like it. Another thing that I got that I wanted to try because so many of you guys have recommended this product to me and told me that you love it. And I'm really excited about that because if you guys are saying you love it, then it must be good. Is the uh, Color Tattoo by iStudio. It's the 24 hour. It's in Stroke of Midnight, which is the black. It's like a gel shadow. I kind of want to use it as a base for when I do like a dark smoky, a deep, deep smoky, or um, even as a gel liner, I want to give it a try. So I got that. So those two products, because I got them together, I got, I think, $3 back. Pretty cool. Next thing I got, which I'm so happy about, is that CVS now cover actually carries the NYX line and they had this tonight and I love any type of setting spray. I usually use MAC and then recently I switched over to a new one. It is the Jane Iredale, is that how you say Airedale? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Palmist Hydration Spray. I've been using this as my setting spray recently. So I picked this one up tonight. It's the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and it's long lasting. Let's see, what did I pay for that? It was $8.49. So in comparison to MAC, it's a lot less expensive, but I don't know how it works yet, so we'll find out. By the way, for the Maybelline, I paid $7.49 for the Tattoo Shadow and $9.49 for the Mascara. So if you guys want to try and figure out how much I spent, that'll help you. Then. I love the little kiosks in CVS that you go and you run your card or you put your phone number and it prints out a ton of coupons. I had about, I don't know, 15 coupons that printed out, which is crazy. And one of them was spend $15 on mascara, lipstick, or foundation and get $3 off. So I was like, okay, I can do that. So I picked up three new masks or three new lipsticks. The first one is the new Maybelline line and I think it's called the... It's a limited edition. I can't remember what the sign said. I think it was Bare Nudes or something, but you can see right through it, it's clear. It's a nude color. And the actual color is, it doesn't have a color because it just says limited edition. Huh, but that's the color right there. It's a really pretty nude. So I'm a little bit afraid that it's gonna be super sheer and just not do anything. But if it is that color, I will love it because I'm a huge nude lip fan. This one was expensive for a drugstore lipstick. It was $9.79 regular price, but then I got $3 off total because I spent $15 on lipstick. And then NYX, I mean, I just love NYX. I got three, two lipsticks from them. Um, they were both $4.29 each. I, the first one I got is Strawberry Milk. That looks super, super comparable to Max Angel. So we'll have to see here, I'll put a little swatch on watch on. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's a really pretty pink. It does look like Angel though. It's very similar. And then the other one I got is NYX. It says 511 and Chaos. Sorry guys, I should have read that sooner, but it's a really pretty red. And I don't know, I, I've just been like really into reds lately. I say that as I'm wearing a red shirt. 
It's really, really bright, like the classic Marilyn Monroe color. Let me uh, swatch the Maybelline one for you too. <gasps> oh, oh, it's a gloss. I didn't even know. Color me stupid. Well, sorry guys, I didn't even know that. That is a gloss. It's not a lipstick, it is a gloss. That was $9.79. And that is almost identical to one of my MAC lipsticks that I can't seem, or lip glosses that I can't seem to find right now. Super sheer, but it's a pretty nude and it's really pretty. So there's those. And then I picked up some false lashes because I'm out right now and I always love to have false lashes. I got the two pack, it was $8.49. So what I did, I don't know, maybe this is cheating the system, maybe it's not, I don't know. But I ran my transaction for the Maybelline first so that I would get my $3 coupon and then I bought the rest of the makeup and then got the $3 off immediately. But because I ran my card at the little kiosk, I had two extra rewards. One was $5 off and one was $2.50 off. Um, also, I had I got $10 back because I bought some nose spray for my crazy allergies and got another $10 off. So in all of my coupons, from CVS, I saved $27.50. That is insane. That's a really, really awesome deal, right? So um, at the end of the day, I almost got most of my makeup for free. Uh, I didn't calculate it out, but it's pretty awesome. So if you have a CVS by you, keep track of those rewards because they add up so quick. And um, if you guys wanna see any reviews on any of these products, let me know because I have them now and I'd be happy to do a follow-up for you if there's any of them that you would like to see or first impression. I haven't tried any of them other than the swatches on my hand. And if you have any other requests for reviews, tutorials, anything like that, make sure to leave it in the comment section below for me. And make sure you guys are following me over on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram because I love communicating with you guys over there. Um, and Pinterest, don't forget Pinterest. I am a pinning fool lately. But um, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, leave your requests below. Au revoir.